continuing our topic on how intelligent technologies help code to catch processes in this second session. Let's take a quick look on the agenda for this unit. In part one, I started with a short overview of the code to cache processes, followed by an introduction to intelligent sales in SAP s and our motivation for it. From there, we will go one level deeper to focus on embedded machine learning. Now, in part two, we will have a practical example in the system in order to show you how machine learning helps end users and how easy machine learning can be edited and adjusted. My demo is divided into two parts. First, I will give you an overview how John, as a sales guy in a company, can work with the predictive delivery delay Fiori app and which are the possibilities of this app. The goal here is not to cover the entire end-to-end -end process. As for tales, we need, of course, a lot of historical data, but only what I say before to give you an overview and a feeling of the possibilities. Second, I like to give you an overview how an analytics specialist can work with the predictive model included in the core of SAP s hana Okay, let's start with a practical example in the system. Now, I'm in front of the SAP s hana system and in my first part concerning this demo, I'm again John and I'm looking in as a sales, uh, internal sales representative. One of my major job today is to increase customer satisfaction. This means I have to guarantee that the deliveries for my favorite customers are on time. I see here all SAP Fiori apps that are relevant for my uh, daily work, but for today I use only the new SAP Fiori app, Predictive Delivery Delay, and this app is located in the Sales Monitoring uh, section. The app uh, starts with a tile, which shows the predicted number of sales order items for open orders that will be on time, too late, or um, uh, with uh, early delivery. So let's move into this uh, Fury app. And here I like to show you shortly how I can work with this new SAP Fiori app. You have two parts in this uh, app. In the upper part, I find uh, the filter area. And here I can toggle between the visual filter, what you see here and the compact filter, what you see here. Uh, the compact filter, this is a traditional display of filter values to get the required result. You can use uh, this uh, compact filter with default parameters like uh, sales documents, so to party, sales organization, product, or planned in this uh, example. The selections you made here in this compact filter influence what is displayed in the visual filter here. And for example, I have selected a specific sales organization in the compact filter and this uh, visual filter shows a result 
with these uh, specific uh, sales organization. And the second part of my um, Fiori app is here in the middle and in the lower part. And in this part, uh, display a combination of uh, transactional data and also uh, analytical data using charts and uh, table visualization. The chart here you see here is uh, color coded to show how critical uh, delay is. The tables here, the tables show sales document items with uh, first uh, predicted delivery creation delay and here the predicted delivery processing delay and a total predicted uh, delivery delay status. And this total is also color coded to reflect how critical uh, delay is. Now you see here in this screen as a result of my uh, sales document. And I see I have near 4,000 uh, open sales document. And I have a lot with uh, early delivery, um, which is uh, orange colored. So I will change the graphical uh, view and I will filter only uh, restricted uh, overview on, on I like to filter only open sales order for my favorite customers. And for my demo today it will be the favorite customer will be the inland Kunde, Deutschland here and you see directly the result of my filtering in this part. And now my sales, my open sales document items, I have near uh, 1,200 open sales documents. Now I can uh, select directly in the graph bar the sales orders that are, that are calculated by the system as delivered too late to my favorite customers. And I click in here, I find directly the result in this section. And we have now uh, open sales document items uh, uh, 50, 58. I highlight, uh, I like to go a little bit deeper to show you how I can work now to resolve uh, different issues. And I highlight uh, one line items and I like to click on the detail button to see more information. And I see here um, uh, the end-to-end -end document uh, flow and status for the document uh, for the document and the detail are displayed in the track sales order app. And this track sales order app is divided in two, par in two parts. I have two view. I have the navigation view on the left side. And I have also the detail view with more information on the right side. So now I select one issue to have more information what is happening with these um, sales orders. And you see here all the information about uh, these uh, sales, um, sales order. I like also to have not only information about general information like embargo status, for example, in this case, but I like also have to information about the delivery issues and I have before to activate these information in the setting. 
and I will activate the D. You see here, I have the predicted delay of delivery creation. I have also the predicted delay of delivery processing. I will select both, confirm, system is calculating, and now I have this information in the detail view of the track since all the detail. This was the first part of my demo today, and my goal was to show you how we integrated the delivery delay in the standard process and how I can resolve issues for my sales orders. Now I will move into uh, my second part of my demo, and I'm logging in the system as an analytics uh, specialist uh, in the SAP uh, S4HANA system. Two remarks from my side. The system can predict the delivery delay based on what it has learned from the training of the predictive model. And also generally, it's also important, the training of the model is done by a data uh, scientist with a special roles, uh, what you see before uh, analytics uh, specialist. So let me explain uh, first the basic concept of this predictive delivery delay. We have in one hand uh, the predictive uh, scenarios, and these are standard business scenarios that are available as an out-of-box solution and is included in SAP S4HANA. And on the other hand, we have the predictive model. And this model is used for predicting outcomes based on a historical data set and are linked to specific predictive uh, scenarios. And uh, this um, and important, the model must be trained in regular intervals with the most recent uh, data. And this is exactly what I will do in my demo. I select um, as a predefined predictive model inside in S4HANA. And here you find uh, the list of predictive scenarios for different processes. And we find here for the order to cash process or for the sales process, we have two predictive, uh, predictive delivery creation delay, and we have the predicted delivery processing de de um, delay. So uh, I like uh, to show you uh, in this demo, I like to train the model and I select uh, this one as a delivery creation delay. I select this one and you can see here, I can train directly this new, uh, this model with new data, but I like to go a little bit deeper to show you what is behind this. And you see here, I have two versions, version one and version two, and version two is activated. And I'm also able to retrain the model to activate uh, the uh, model, but this is activated, but I can disactivate or delete uh, this uh, model. Now I like to train again this model. And uh, if I train the predictive model, with data that is no longer uh, relevant for my business, current business case. For example, data that uh, is too old or for XML case, this will impact the quality of the model. In, the, in, in my case, I like to um, create, uh, to train the model with new data. I have to enter a short description of the model. And after that, I can uh, add uh, the training filters. In this case, I select a short uh, data set. 
concerning the filters and I like to select only uh, data coming from order quantity. This will be uh, 100 uh, to one, uh, 120. And I click on train to select, um, to train the model and you see the system is working and a new model version is created. Uh, okay, I have trained and, I, and uh, I have trained the, the new model and the amount of time uh, required for each training also important depends on the volume of uh, training data. This was a, uh, a small volume. And what we recommend also is if you have a big volume of data that you train the model during non-working hours for example, you train these uh, during the night. Now, uh, see, okay, now the system is, uh, the new version is ready, and I can maybe activate this new uh, model to calculate uh, uh, the new predictive delivery daily for my sales order based on a new data model. Okay, I can activate this, but I will not do this uh, in this case. I go a little bit deeper to show you uh, my new version. Version, okay, I have a quality, uh, five stars is a good model. I have see what I explain in my part one, the predictive power and the predictive confidence. The values are also very good. And I can click on debrief to see the key influencer of my data model with the variable and also the contribution of this variable in the calculation of the, the data model. Now I um, at the end of my uh, a demo in the SAP S4HANA system. With that, we have come to the end of our unit. I added in my slide deck one more slide with further information in case you like it, this unit and you want to have more detailed information on this topic. Thank you and stay tuned for the future of intelligent code to cache.